When it comes to the boys, I already said, like, they're just a distraction. But like, they that's... come in all forms. I'm telling you this right now. Um, it's just, like, it's just something you're just going to have to, like, accept. Like, you know, I, some guys, I'm telling you, like, they can pretend and, like, it, it just takes you off. Like, Hey y'all, welcome back to my video. If you're new here, my name is Blessing. And if you're not new, thank you for coming back to my channel to, you know, watch me. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Like, what are you waiting for? Go do that right now. Go do it right now. If you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Go do it right now. So, with that being said, let's get into this video. So first things first, we're going to talk about the housing here at CSUN. And not only that, if you see me look down, just know that I'm looking at my phone because I'm taking, I, I took some notes on my phone because, you know, I can't, you know, you, you, you get the gist of it. So we'll, we'll talk about housing. So the first thing that I would say about housing is that I prefer the apartments to the dorms. So right now I currently have a dorm and that's why I say I prefer the apartments because when you get a dorm, you also have to get a meal plan. So it's mandatory that once you get a dorm, you have to get a meal plan. And the meal plan is also expensive alongside with the dorm. The dorm is also expensive too. Not only that, in the dining hall here at CSUN, <clears throat> The food is not good like you, you know how that goes it just it's not it's not worth the price it's not worth the money so like once you combine the dorming fee with the meal plan fee and put it all together it's literally gonna be the same amount I mean it's even it's more expensive than the apartments without the kitchen so if you're coming here I would suggest you get a, an apartment that comes with the kitchen so it could be cheaper for you because when, if you get an apartment that comes with the kitchen then you won't have to get a meal plan because if you also get an apartment without a kitchen you also have to get a meal plan too it's also mandatory so you get an apartment with the kitchen and wait for it not only that so don't go start saying, that, oh, I can't cook. I can't cook. Get you an EBT card. Get you an EBT card. Like, honestly, that will help you a lot. So you don't have to, like, you know, spend money buying groceries. Because, you know, as college students, it's hard out here. It's 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 hard out here. Okay? So um, get you an EBT card and get you an apartment with the kitchen. It's honestly going to save you a lot more money than getting the dorm with the... Um, with the um meal plan because honestly that's the first thing i got i got the apartment with the kitchen but i um canceled it because i thought i thought that if i st stick with the apartments that i won't be with freshmen like with my fellow freshmen and i won't get the you know freshman experience or the college experience because you know I'm a freshman, right? So, yeah, but that's not the case because freshmen, they have the apartments too and it's just way cheaper and it's a really good fit for you. You know? You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, next thing that we're going to talk about is when coming here, you got to pay for your own laundry out of your own pocket. You see, I thought this was really weird. I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't know how it is for the apartments because I've never gotten an apartment before. So, um, yeah, but you got to pay for your own laundry, um, out of your own pocket and they don't like accept coins. It has to be like, um, a bank card. Like if you have like a cash app card or a debit card, I don't know if they accept credit, but I, I guess so. But like a credit card or whatever, that's what they, t um, that's what they accept. And it was like 450. 450 to wash your clothes and 450 to dry it. It's that's how it is in my dorm. I don't know how it is for the apartments. Um, I don't know if it's like that in every building, but yeah. Okay. Next is the roommate selection. I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna say this 
again when choosing or when selecting your roommate make sure you get you a good roommate i'm telling you like especially okay especially, so this is okay so this is for the csun students because i don't know how it is in other schools i don't know how they do it but when you're about to like come back to school or when you're about to like come to school or start school for the first time for the fall semester there's going to be a room so like a roommate selection period and during that roommate selection period there's like a list of roommates and like um and there's like a percentage or whatever to see if they're your match or not like let's say they're a 90 percent match to your preferences because you know before you before you can pick a roommate you have to list out your own preferences and what you want or what you're expecting from your roommate and stuff like you know stuff like that so you gotta like really look like me when I got my roommate I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna say this again I stopped in order to get my roommate okay because ain't nobody finna dorm with you know some you, you get the gist of it okay because before I came to college I did my research and and I watched many different YouTube videos on how people got like you know had these roommate horror stories and stuff like that and I was just like you know what that can't be me so um um at CSUN we have this app called near peer so on the roommate selection um portal or the house okay because no we have a housing portal so I went on a housing portal and then I selected this girl that I wanted to be my roommate, right? So um, I selected her and then, but before I selected her, I just looked at her and she was like a 97% match to my preferences. So I was like, okay, yeah, that's good, but I need to face to the name, you know? <laughs> I don't understand why I didn't put, why I didn't, why they didn't put pictures up there but they knew what they was doing sorry but i need a face to the name that's just me okay i need to see how you look like before i could like you know live with you but it's not, not that like i'm not saying that like in a bad way but it's just like you know i just want to know what i'm gonna expect if that makes sense so yeah so there's this app that they call near peer um um uh, we use that i guess to like find people that go to the same school as us and stuff and you know talk to them and stuff so i um so the girl that i selected to be my roommate i typed up her name on near peer and i saw her i saw her account so i was looking through it to you know see her stuff you know just to like you know see who i'm going to you know be living with in the future and um and and then, so, what happened after that? Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. And then, so, yeah, thank God her Instagram was on the Near Pair app. So, it was, like, in her bio, she put her Instagram there. So, I went on her Instagram, and I was like, you know what, let me look at her pictures. And she had some really nice, you know, pictures. Like, she looked like a neat and a tidy person. So, I was like, okay, she seemed chill. She seemed cool. So, I was like, okay, yeah, sure, cool. Like, um, why not? Be my roommate. And she was my roommate. And she was cool. So, yeah, I did my little stocking. I tried. I did the best I could. So, yeah. And then, so, I think that's it for housing for now. And then we're going to move into the academic, the academic side. And mind you, we're going to save the girl talk for last because I do want to talk to you guys about what you are going to be expecting in college, like, when it comes to like people and then just certain expectations and just so you know like clear your mind on some things you know so um yeah so academically um and the what i want to point out is independence plays a huge factor in college when coming to college you are like an adult so basically they're going to treat you as an adult and you are literally going to be like on your own i'm not saying that oh in a bad way but you are responsible for yourself in college it's not like in high school whereby um whereby like you know 
Um, the teachers will be on your back, like, you know, telling you like, oh, you didn't submit this assignment. You didn't submit that. Where is it? Oh, the due date. Oh, you're about to fail. This and that. They don't be telling you all of that stuff in class. Like, I'm telling you, these professors, I mean, some professors are different. Some professors can actually do that, but some most professors don't because they're like you know you're an adult like nobody has time for that i'm not going to be treating you like a kid or babysitting you in college because you're in college you know what i mean so it's like independence plays like a huge factor so what you you're responsible of doing things on your own you're responsible of going to classes on your own nobody is going to sometimes sometimes they don't take attendance but me personally in all my classes that i've taken so far they take attendance in those classes so I don't know how it is um, for other classes, but I've heard that in some classes they don't take attendance. So, but that's still not a reason for you not to go to class. You better get your butt up and go to class because just go to class because why not? Like you're paying for the classes and they're expensive. So why not just go to the classes if you know what I mean? So just go to the classes. Really, it's not. It's just you're in school for a reason. You're you're not in college to just party and have fun. You're in college to, you know, study. But yeah. So you're in charge of going to class on your own. You're in charge of checking to see if you have any assignments. Like I said, it's different from high school. Some professors won't even tell you that you have an assignment um, due today or you have an assignment tonight or you have homework or a little quiz to do tonight. They're not going to remind you. Some professors do, some professors don't. So they're not going to, and even if they don't remind you, just make sure to check your um, your thing regularly. Like us here, we use Canvas, so make sure to check it regularly to see if you have anything due, if you have any quizzes to take, to you know, so you can be able to get that done and not get a bad grade in that class. Um, you're also responsible just for yourself in general, so it's just like make sure to just do adult things, you know, think like an adult and do adult things like you know just take care of yourself while you're in college because I'm telling you yeah so um honestly cheating cheating when it comes to cheating cheating comes in many different forms you already know what cheating is I don't really have to explain it to you but then when it comes to the essays plagiarism is a really big thing and you just can't be doing that in college like you it's not like high school where you could just go on chat gpt and mm -mm, copy and paste because they use ai checkers here they use the turn in my homework app or something i don't i don't know what it is but like they use ai checkers to check if you plagiarize and my other like in my other writing class uh, well in two of my other writing classes because i had two writing classes so in my first writing class like you can't like if you ever like use a source or any outside source you have to like you know put it in like quotation marks or in quotes or just you know like cite the source like cite the person who I, no cite the place where you got the source from and everything like so it could be used as probably like evidence or something like don't just you know put it there like as your own work because that's when um that's plagiarizing kind of basically and also but and but in my other class my teacher she supports using chat gpt only for inspiration but like when you use it like paraphrase like get some ideas like don't just go and like write and copy and paste and basically and use it at, and turn it in as your own work so it's just like it depends on your professor but in general don't 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 be you can't be cheating. You're too grown to be cheating in college, honestly. Like, it's really not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, um, and this particular one that I want to talk about, it relates to CSUN in particular because I don't know how other colleges are. I go to CSUN, so I'm going to speak on that. <laughs> so, CSUN in general has a lot of good resources to offer its students, like, going to the gym here is free and then we have like a lot of discounts on stuff it's just it's it's really a lot like i mean like um if you're planning to come if you're planning on coming to season you might just want to like um book a tour like you know come and see the school it's a really good big campus um what academically um yeah so 
that's what I have to say on that. And then so the next one is choose your major carefully. It's okay to be unsure at first, but make sure it's something that you're actually willing to do and to complete. So like when it comes to choosing your major, it's that honestly plays a big role in like college. It's okay to be unsure at first. Like not everybody knows what they're going to like jump into. Like I was low key confused at first. Um like I applied as a biology major because I wanted to go into nursing. Um but then I was like second thought. I was like do I really want to do that? Like I was really like thinking really hard like is that what I want to do? And I don't want to be working nine to fives every single day. Like, I don't want to be doing all of that. Like, one thing about me is I like to be independent. I like to, you know, do my own thing. I don't like people telling me what to do. So it was like, I thought, and it was like, okay, yeah, I want to be an entrepreneur. Like, I want to have my own business. I want to do this. I want to do that. And that's why I'm studying business management. Um, so honestly, you just got to really think about what you're passionate about and what you really want to do because that also plays a big role because it's like if you start let's say studying engineering or major in engineering or majoring in let's say biology and then in the future you want to be a dance no 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 sorry 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 <laughs> no, I didn't mean that let's say you want to major in biology and in the future you want to be um, you major in biology and in the future you want to be, um, I, I don't know, but you know, you get, you know what I'm talking about. Just know what you're passionate about because I don't even know what I'm going to say right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah. And that's all. I, okay. No, that is not all that I have for academically for academics. So also when, um, when talking about academics or, or going to classes and stuff, make sure to talk to your professor. I'm telling you, this helps a lot and it helped me so much during my first semester here at CSUN. Like, it helped me a lot. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Like, even if there's like, even if you're like in a, like a lecture class where there's like a ton of people, at least make sure your professor knows your name and knows who you are in that class. Like, I'm telling you, it will help you in the future because like, let's say for instance, like, you're doing good in the semester or you're, you're you have like a good start in school or whatever but then in the middle you start like going back down or you start going down and start failing the class a little bit and then you go to your professor but your professor doesn't know who you are they don't even know if you come to class all the time they don't even know you've never sent them an email a day in your life so it's like okay what do you want me to do for you you failed class like there's nothing else I can do but if you know your professor like I, would, I don't I don't like I'm not saying that you should like know your professor at the, at the back of your hand but like at least make sure you've at least talked to your professor at least make sure they know your name like sometimes reach out to them like oh hey I don't understand this and that and this um based on what you talked about today or just something like, you know, talk to them, make sure they know who you are, because I'm telling you, it's going to help you in the future, especially <laughs> out here. It's tough, man. It's tough. So when it comes to um, when it comes to personal things like I'm going to just give I'm going to just go based off my experience, you know. Um, and go off like the main thing that people tend to flop off on and like get distracted by and that's boys I'm telling you here and right now that if I'm, I promise you sweetheart it's it's not worth it coming to college is going to help you realize that like it helped me realize because ever since I came here it helped me realize that oh I'm around like a bunch of different people like they have different mentalities raised differently I'm telling you when you come to college it's going to help you realize so many things especially given the fact that some people don't think the same they normalize the wrong things that's supposed to be right and 
some people for some reason may try to fit in and I understand that because I remember when I was in high school I used to be very insecure as a person because I always wanted to fit in I always wanted to do what other people were doing in order to be like you know part of the popular girls or part of like or or to join like the little cliques and stuff you know so I would start doing things to make myself fit in like I used to be so insecure like you know for a bunch of just different things but like you know coming to college is just like I don't I don't care like I'm who I am and I have to accept that sooner or later and everybody is going to have their own opinions about you and that's just something you're going to accept everyone has different views based on you as a person not everyone is going to like you not everyone is going to accept you and sometimes you just have to know who you are as a person and where you stand really look at yourself and think about I don't know just think about yourself as a person like really take a look at yourself and just tell yourself that you okay my bad my camera turned off but back to what I was saying yeah not everyone is going to like accept you and also when it comes to the boys I already said like they're just a distraction like guys I'm like now it, it's come to this point in time whereby like you're gonna meet some people like some guys are genuine some guys are not <laughs> but they come in all forms I'm telling you this right now um it's just like it's just something you're just gonna have to like accept like you know I, some guys I'm telling you like they can pretend and like it, it just takes you off like I'm just it's it's not worth it that's just what I'm gonna say for right now it's not worth it so yeah it just depends on you know you and then yeah but in my next video I'm going to elaborate based on this topic like elaborate more on this topic um so stay tuned for one of my videos because i'm going to elaborate more on this topic but yeah based on what i was saying before like you know just stay true to yourself as a person not everyone's going to accept you not everyone is going to like you everybody's always going to have something to say about you that's just them and you can't change their opinion you can't try to be a people pleaser and try to please everyone because then you won't be happy with yourself and at the end of the day you'll just be like <sighs> I'm not even doing this for myself and stuff like that. So, you know, because I've I've gone through that. I've done that. I've I've tried to please everyone and at the end I was the one miserable. I wasn't happy because that's not what I wanted for myself as a person. And the sooner you start to realize that, the better it will be for you, yourself, and in the future. So yeah. Um and that's mainly like what I just want to talk about right now. And also, well, well, not only that, also when it comes to like making friends, um, you know, as a freshman, you're coming into college, there's a lot of other freshmen coming in with you. And so um, everybody's going to try to like, you know, talk to everyone. So don't be antisocial, you know, get out the dorm, you know, talk to people. Um, yeah talk to people make some new friends but also be careful when it comes to the friends part because not everyone is your friend so you just gotta also be careful because you know i'm telling you you're just gonna realize a lot of things when coming to college is just very much different from high school it's just like a place where you realize a lot of things like basically some like like similar to the real world you know you're growing up you're adulting you're you're expanding your network you're socializing with other people and you're growing up so thank you for watching my video i really appreciate it this was all i had to offer for today videos i will be doing a girl talk so let me know what kind of topics you want me to cover in that girl talk. Like, what do you want me to talk about? Like, what are some things that's just on your mind that you don't even have the answers to that you just want me to answer? Like, you know, just stuff that you want me to talk about. Like, I will be more than happy to talk about it with you guys. And thank you for watching my video once again. And stay tuned for more content. Bye.